Come on. I'd love a second set of eyes. Right behind you. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Shiva. He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing things up? Definitely not. Once more, with gusto. <laughs> Go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. Drink it or anything. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. There. Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all Hoi Salah sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better. Good. I think I can make 
think I can. Right. Got it. Come on over. Nice. Right behind you. Ah. Uh, figured we had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in three. Huh? We'll see. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Either. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this old treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms be there demanded to speak to the man in charge. Then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. <laughs> 
Let's roll. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this time. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. That's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. Come on. Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. Up 
here. Coming. Go on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just... Oh, he's back! Oh. Oh. oh, boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. because you said please. I didn't, actually. Once you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Hanagadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. They're doing great, China. We're doing better when we get to the crown. Surprised we haven't seen Asav yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> oh, he's around. Doubt we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> Worth it. Oh. Impressive. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Really? When are you going to be back here? Is our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one. We fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? <coughs> After you. <coughs> Incredible. It's our old friends. Harashirama and Ganesh. Friends? We've got their fun. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Through here. Hey, look, armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have armaments. 
It's all Persian. Ah, uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. <laughs> what the hell? This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Well, this device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Oh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. All right, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Salah and the Tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. <laughs> Ready? Oh, careful. Mm. Amazing. What the Shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No. Hear me out. 
Ganesh is the symbol of. Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of. Belor. Which was the old. The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Belor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belor? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! A huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueduct. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. Right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take part. <laughs> <laughs> 